overdose vapes Keep your coils tight Keep your wicks wet If you're looking for new flavors I'm all about the clouds, bro Filling up a clear road We're dripping on the sub But we muse for the juice While Trevor John Goes a few on the two And prepare for overdose Today we're going to be taking a look at Something sent out by the good folks over at EMB Send me this hat Well as a shirt and a whole line of e-liquid. This line of e-liquid is Gorilla Custard. Gorilla Custard comes in many different variants. They got everything from the OG Custard, strawberry, uh, you know, which are the staples of the vape game in a lot of ways, which we'll talk about in one second. But they also have some uh, kind of off-the-cuff ones, such as tobacco and uh, banana. So it's cool to see them doing something a little bit different than your average um, plain Jane strawberry slash OG custard. So um, custard and strawberry custard specifically, uh, the two of those, both you know original just custard, vanilla custard and strawberry custard, they have a long pedigree in vaping. They're literally um, what I would call legit staples of the e-liquid market, okay? Uh, there's dozens if not hundreds of custards of various types available on the market and they are a very popular flavor and uh, for good reason a lot of people like desserts and custard is one of those flavors that just goes there's a lot of flavorings available commercially that are extremely well done and both vanilla custard and custards mixed with fruits um, are just a pleasant vape experience so today we are looking at Gorilla Custard's Strawberry Custard. And there is a moral to this story. Not only are we um, going back in time to evaluate a company based on one e-liquid, but we're also, um, it's also good advice, okay? If you're new to vaping, um, or even if you're old to vaping, and funds um, are tight, and you're looking to try new products from new companies, but there's one flavor profile that you are um, very fond of, right? Your all-day vape flavor profile. Um, when you're looking at a new company, purchase that flavor profile or something similar to it from them to see um, if, if it meets your expectations of, of quality. Um, because if they can't do something like strawberry custard right, um, I have less faith in their ability to do more complex uh, mixes. So that's what we're doing today. Taking a look at strawberry custard. So let's go up close, check out the bottle, and then we'll vape it. back okay um so the bottles are cool uh only thing that's a little bit concerning is the the uh, the cartoon gorilla um of course for me i grew up with cartoons so things like this evoke nothing but nostalgia i think they're cute i love it um i love the branding on old school vape labels um and this is really kind of down that alley it's got a stylized piece of um of uh, custard with strawberry you know strawberries and strawberry um coolie on it um, it almost looks like flan, which is cool. Kind of the same thing. And um, someone's going to yell at me for that statement. Um, but it does have this uh, gorilla. I, I don't even want to harp on it, but um, that I mean, people will people will say something about that. It's only a matter of time. Okay? Um, I'm not going to be the only one. They're, they're after those kids, man. That's what people are going to say. Going after them kids with that, just that, you know, with that cartoon marketing. Um, although we all know that's BS. Um, those are the arguments they use against us. So companies, not just Gorilla Custard, but companies who see this, um, although I do understand the desire to have a, um, a stylized mascot, um, it is going to hurt you in the long run, in my opinion. Okay? So um, starting with Strawberry Custard, I guess we can just dig right in. Um, 
This is... Just bear with me for one second. I'm looking for ratios and stuff. Okay, so it's made in California. Um, www.shopenb.com. That's uh, enb.com. Um, they have several different products. It's not. It's obviously not just Gorilla Custard. They actually have a wide variety of, of e-liquids. They've been around for quite a while. Um, I think I probably had some of their products in the past and just didn't realize it. Um, they're kind of like one of those companies that has. They're like a parent company, and then they have a bunch of different lines that are all also under their own kind of umbrellas. Gorilla Custard being one of those things. So, um, one interesting thing about this is that it has allergy warnings, which is not unusual because I think peanuts and stuff, right? But this one says, may contain traces of uh, peanuts, tree nuts, milk, egg, wheat, soy, fish, shellfish, and seeds. So, are we going to get a fishy custard? Uh, I certainly hope not. Okay, um, 70, okay, so it's 70-30. Um, three milligram, of course, because that's what I vape when I'm using mechanical devices, and um, it's hundred mil bottle, uh, very well priced as well. Um, I, I will leave information below as far as um, you know where you can look, but again, you can just go to uh, www.shopene as in, like the letter e, um, shop s h o p e n as in you know um, nogi or naki or Nokia or Nigeria um, B as in Brian dot com I made that even more confusing um, but uh, yeah so 70 30 um, 3 milligram 100 mil bottle let's go the Have first thing that hits you is definitely on the inhale and up front you definitely get that strawberry okay it's bright it's it's bright it's red it's it's almost seedy it's got a, you know a really nice mixture of fresh strawberry with sweet strawberry um, it's a good blend I really really enjoy that part of it but then you know that is quickly forgotten and what you're left with is a very very robust um, very robust vanilla custard you know with some sweetness there and um, just something very unique about it almost almost killer custard style custard which I never thought anybody could replicate that you know um, and they're not replicating it per se but it definitely has elements that remind me of that um, at least. But very cloudy I really enjoy the way that it goes from this tart strawberry to the custard Right? Like if you were to bite through a layer of strawberry into a custard, the strawberry gets absorbed. You're left with this really nice custard. Excellent. Just the right amount of sweetness, vanilla, mixed with a very, very, um, uh, a very, very quick dose of strawberry. Fantastic. Um, it's really, really fantastic. It's bright, it's sweet it's not heavy it's not dark um, it's it's a modern strawberry custard in all the right ways while it also holds on to some of the things that made previous incarnations of this profile fantastic you know which is a little bit more of that robust true custard flavor very fun of it it's got a fantastic lung fill absolutely fantastic lung fill feels great to vape um, just an overall terrific e-liquid um, again this is the only one that I have tried up until now okay um, my boy Naki he has tried the tobacco custard um, tobacco is not really my thing so I'm, I'm letting him try it a little bit I'm also going to try it um, we're going to review all these eventually, right? Um, I wanted to start with the one that I'm most familiar with, like I was telling you guys, like I ranted about for the first 10 minutes of this video. Um, if I'm gauging this company by this e-liquid, this is the kind of stuff that I was always looking for. This is the kind of stuff that would have me coming back to explore this company further. Okay. So, uh, prior to this video, I, I did split this bottle with Maria, um, so it is it does have some missing from it. Um, but 
previous to this, okay, I, I needed, I was looking for a, um, funnily enough, I had just run out of my uh, Killer Custard Strawberry Nick Salt e-liquid. And of course, um, Gorilla Custard does have a salt variant. They sent it to me as well. So previous to vaping this, um, Freebase version, I have been vaping this uh, Gorilla Custard Strawberry Salt. And this is in, what is it, I think it's 24. It's 50-50 uh, VGPG, um, which is pretty par for course for this type of thing, right? Um, it's 30 milligram. It's extremely smooth. And I will say this. Um, I've been kind of ragging on Salt Nick e-liquids lately for having a really um, less than robust flavor. This one, however, is extremely close to the Freebase version. The only thing that's missing from this specific, I have it in the S1 Quick Kit here. Fresh, I put a fresh little coil in here and everything. The only thing that's missing from this um, specific um, Salt Nick version is that the strawberry itself is not as robust. It's not as bright, it's not as sharp. Um, it's there, but it's really light. It's really kind of a background note. But the custard element of it um, shines through really well. And the sweetness of it, which is something we lose quite frequently, both because of the reduced amount of um, VG, which I think some people don't realize VG does add a lot of sweetness to e-liquids. So higher the VG, um, oftentimes higher, you know, the, the, the more sweetness you're going to experience in that e-liquid. So, um, so it's not as sweet as the Freebase version, but it does definitely have a, uh, a robust uh, robustness that is unusual for a Salt Nick e-liquid. So for both of these, for apps for both of these, I highly recommend them. I, I highly recommend them. If you're gonna if you're gonna try out Gorilla Custard, um, I highly recommend starting with the Strawberry Custard. That's my favorite. Uh, I'm gonna give it a 4.2 out of 5 for the Freebase version. Um, it was a breath of fresh air and definitely something I will be vaping. Um, this is this is good. It's different enough from every other uh, vanilla custard. Vanilla custard. <laughs> it's different enough from every other strawberry custard that I have to make me want to vape it. It's clean. It, it has a very clean, crisp, um, but hearty uh, flavor experience to it. It's got a really nice vape experience to it. So 4.2 out of 5 for the Freebase version. Definitely something I approve of and that I will personally vape the entire bottle of. I will even steal Maria's back from her because I don't think she's been vaping it. Now, as far as the uh, Gorilla Custard salt, okay, um, if you're into salts and you're and you're looking for a dessert salt, highly recommend it. Right? It does not have the same does not have the same level of flavor saturation as the Big Boy, but it is but it is so good as compared to so many other salts that I'm going to give it a 4.3 out of five for a salt nick e-liquid okay uh, i know i do understand that that is higher than the freebase version um but i'm not comparing it to the freebase version they're two separate beasts and just because of the lack of good dessert e-liquids in the salt nick um, space and because of the fact that a lot of salt nick e-liquids lack substantial flavor or uh, lack flavor saturation of any type um, i have to give this um, it's due. It's due credit because it really does actually have a decent, good flavor, even in this form factor, even in this form factor, even in. I have it in this as well. Even in this form factor, pod, old school type of um, you know early early style uh, glassomizers, um, it still shines through. So even at high heat, low ohms, or even at low heat, high ohms, um, it's a it's a damn good vape. So I highly recommend it. 4.2 and 4.3 respectively. Um, go ahead and grab your bottle. I don't think you'll be disappointed if you like strawberry custard. I I like strawberry creams personally. That's my that's my go-to now. Um, but this is 
this is something that's special enough that I will definitely be vaping the heck out of this thing. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I cannot thank Gorilla Custard enough for sending it out. Well, I can't thank ENB enough for sending it out. Really, truly appreciate it. I love having the opportunity to um, explore a flavor that is a staple of the of the industry, and yet is able to provide something that is um, that takes a fresh look at a staple flavor and gives me something to be excited about, and gives me something that I can actually vape, that I want to vape. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right. Thank you guys so much. Keep your coils tight. We'll see you in the next video. Stay tuned for that. Make sure you watch the Sunday live streams. Um, Sunday, this channel, same bat place, same bat time, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. That's 10 Eastern. That is um, like 9 Central. Uh, so be there. You know, absolutely be there. And if you can't catch it live, be sure to watch the replays. We've, uh, we, have, we have fun. Uh, a couple weeks ago, we had Matt... Uh, from Suck My Mod was on as a special guest. Had a good time. So, that's it. <laughs> Get the hell out of here now. Get out of my house. Uh, no, seriously though, much love. Uh, hit the like button, subscribe. Go to Patreon if you want to support the channel. Peace out.